It's been 504 days since Game of Thrones Season 7 ended, leaving fans everywhere on a massive cliffhanger. The Night's King, his army of the dead, and his new undead dragon have broken through the wall and are marching south to lay waste to the Seven Kingdoms and add anyone standing in their way to the undead horde. And while it did leave us with more questions than answers, the wait for new information is officially over, as Game of Thrones has just given us our first new official content from the series since that finale way back in August of 2017, even though this is just a taste of things to come as HBO released a brand new teaser trailer in front of the premiere for True Detective Season 3. And when I say teaser trailer, it really is just that. It's a teaser. It's only a minute and 46 seconds long, and it may not have actually even included any actual scenes from the eighth and final season, potentially being a little more metaphorical than literal, hinting at the themes and potential fates of three of the central characters, along with some cool Easter eggs for diehard fans of the Song of Ice and Fire series. The central premise of the trailer is this. Basically, John, Sansa, and Arya each walk through the catacombs beneath Winterfell, past the statues enshrining the dead Starks of generations past, torches in hand. They gather at the end of a hallway, finding their own statues already made, before Frost creeps up, blows their torches out, and the three turn to face the encroaching cold and dark. But while that sounds pretty simple and straightforward, there's actually a little bit more to it than meets the eye. In the first segment, we see John walking, and he strolls right past the statue of who else but his mother, Lyanna Stark, Ned's sister, who died in the Tower of Joy after giving birth to John. While he walks past, we hear Lyanna's line from that Tower of Joy scene from the season 6 finale, you have to protect him, which she told Ned, begging him to keep John safe. And if you remember that, I mean, it's been a long time since the show was on. This is because John is actually the son of her and Aegon Targaryen, which makes him the true heir to the throne. And interestingly, John walks right past it, which might have caught your eye, but that really only makes sense because he still doesn't know she was actually his mother. It's something that Bran could tell him this season, but until now, he still thinks that he's actually Ned's son. He does kind of hesitate and turn back, though, after he walks past when a feather that was resting on Lyanna's hands lands on the floor. Really not sure what kind of feather that is. I mean, it might be a raven to symbolize him leaving the Night's Watch. But he does actually stop to face Ned Stark's statue, which only makes sense because, remember, still, he thinks he's Ned's bastard son. He thinks he's the half-brother of Sansa, Bran, and Arya. He doesn't know that he's actually their cousin and he's messing around with his own aunt. We then see Sansa, now Lady of Winterfell, walk right past the statue of her mother, Catelyn Stark, and Arya walks down a pretty nondescript hallway with no statues anywhere in sight while we hear a quote from the third season where Catelyn says that all of the horror that's befallen her family is because she couldn't love a motherless child. The context of that quote is really, really interesting. She's telling Rob's short-lived wife, Talisa, that she prayed and watched over Jon Snow when he was young and fell ill because she had wished that he'd die, basically, because she didn't know the truth and she thought that he was Ned's bastard son, which she saw as kind of a betrayal and a constant reminder of Ned's betrayal. Then when he became sick, she felt like the worst person in the world and she prayed over him, and she said that if he survived, she would treat him as one of her own, which was a promise she didn't keep. If you've seen the series or read the books, uh, which she feels has cursed not only her, but also her children. And while that may not necessarily be true, we do know that there's a certain weight to promises and oaths in the Game of Thrones world, and curses do exist, and the fact that it plays when Sansa and Arya walk past is kind of equally interesting in my mind, because it kind of maybe hints that they won't learn from the past and that they'll betray Jon just like Catelyn did. And just a quick cool thing to note, Arya actually doesn't walk by any statues like I said, she just walks down a pretty normal hallway, which is potentially just a little bit of a reference to the fact that she's become no one. She's a faceless man now, she gave up her name and her attachment to her family as part of that training. Or, you know, maybe this is a hint that she's actually still the waif, who knows. But all three, three of the surviving four Starks, meet at the end of a hallway, which, you know, could be a metaphor for the end of the Stark line, you know, the potential end of everything if the Night's King succeeds, to find to their horror that they already have statues of their own, potentially hinting at their own impending deaths. And already since this trailer, some have pointed out that these statues might be a little bit of a hint if you look closely at them. I mean, Sansa and Arya look like they're about the same age as they are now in their statues, while Jon looks a little bit older, which some people are reading as potentially a hint that they'll die in this season, but that Jon is going to survive and live into older age. I mean, I don't know how much I'd read into that, as it might just be kind of a rough statue, but it is a safe bet that either Jon or Daenerys are going to survive. The three then turn to face the creeping chill head-on, which is a sign of what we already knew, that the army of the dead comes to Winterfell. And by all accounts, it's going to put all of the other battles to shame. Let me know in the comment section down below what 
what you think of the trailer, and if you can wait for April 14th, I know I can't. Uh, I'm really, really excited to see what they do with this season. Again, this is just a teaser trailer. I think we'll probably see actual scenes from the season a little bit later on, probably closer to the end of February or the beginning of March, just to remind you that it is coming out, you know, a month after that, uh, to keep keep you wanting more. That's what a teaser is supposed to do, not show off too much, just show off a little bit to pique your interest, because it's been a while since we've seen anything from this show. That's going to do it for me here, though. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day, and consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.